Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of post-injection abscess. A 45-year-old diabetic female patient came with painful left lateral arm swelling. There was a history of vaccination at that site one month back. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the high-frequency ultrasound of the lateral arm. You can see an irregular heterogeneous collection which is showing internal low-level echoes located superficially. You can see surrounding subcutaneous tissue is edematous. This irregular hazy collection with surrounding subcutaneous tissue edema indicates abscess. Here is a picture. You can see the irregularity of the subcutaneous tissue along with the heterogeneous collection. And the picture with an approximate measurement, it's around 5.2 cm by 1.9 cm. And you can see surrounding fat plane irregularity. Here is another picture. You can see the surrounding increased vascularity. These are artifacts. Usually the subcutaneous layer of arm won't show you this type of vascularity. And the picture, the internal content shows no vascularity. Only you can see a fluid collection with low level internal echoes indicating inflammatory contents. We have checked sample from the surrounding vascularity to ensure that this is not an artifact, rather these are vessels and you can see monophasic hyperemic flow within this vessel indicating surrounding inflammatory process. So, in summary, an irregular complex fluid collection with low level internal echoes and surrounding subcutaneous tissue edema noted within the subcutaneous layer at the lateral aspect of the arm. Color Doppler shows surrounding increase of tissue vascularity. This feature is concluded as a case of superficial abscess of the left lateral arm. Now, the take home message. If you see an abscess and it is located adjacent to a bone, you should carefully look for the bony irregularity at that part. And also you should check the communication of the abscess cavity with the bony cavity which is commonly seen in osteomyelitis. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and visit imagingstudy.com for more cases. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.